which doesn't just mean sunshine and warmth. Here in the UK, it has been glorious so far this month. It also means pour and sip, a new box, a new selection of five whiskies for this month. Now, if your box looks like this, seriously welcome to the club, welcome aboard. This will be your first time tasting with us. You'll have your tasting glasses, you'll have your how to taste whiskey guide. Make the most of it, get involved. If your box looks like this, you've been with us before, welcome back, thanks for sticking with us. And we have got five mega exciting brands this month. I had a sneak peek earlier, I know what's coming up and it's really good, it's really exciting. So, what do we have first? Every single month, tasting notes like this. These are really, really cool, really important and I'll tell you why. First of all, in your envelope you'll have the dates of the live tastings for this month. We're talking about the 3rd of June and the 17th of June. Don't worry if you miss it, you can watch it back. We are on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube got that right um so if you can't join us live and please do it's really loads and loads of fun you can ask questions we have guests um but you can also watch it back and taste along so if you can't make a thursday fret not um the other fun thing is the actual tasting cards themselves so that's our thoughts on this side we try and pick up whiskies that we really genuinely love so like our old favorites and also like new and exciting things that you seriously have to taste so the team have done their notes on that side and then on this side the space for your notes and we love hearing your tasting notes whether that's on social media at pour and sip club or on the live evenings like putting in the comments on the live tasting we love hearing from you so much so yeah get involved let us know what you think of these and enough chat let's go on to whiskies themselves so first up Belle Blair we're up in Scotland I love Belle Blair um a distillery that used to focus so much on like vintages so it would say the year it was distilled rather than age statement that's changed up a bit now this is our 15 year old right here this is a mix of bourbon and sherry casks it is just divine it's a just a classic scotch can't wait to get stuck in um next up is Bladnock which is a very very exciting thing I love the story of Bladnock distillery this is Vinaya which is, yeah, an exciting statement. Um, but what's really cool about Bladnock and what to really know about Bladnock is it's like a number of distilleries. It's kind of had like a bit of a checkered past, periods of closure, times it's been open again, investment less so. Um, and this was bought by a guy. The distillery had been demolished in the middle of the buildings there, really. And he thought, this is such a nice spot. I want to turn this into a holiday home. But then, no, there was petitions and people were like, no, we need the distillery back. And that's what happened. He reopened it. So really excited to hear from them on our first live of the month. And then we've got Sticking with Scotland for our third round, Glen Farquhar. Glen Farquhar is like a celebration of all things sherry. This is a 15 year old, which is honestly such a treasure of a dram. So excited to share it with you all. Let us know what you think. For me, it's like a Christmas cake delight. That we're talking like almonds, marzipan, loads of dried fruit. I know it's June, we're kind of going back to Christmas, but I'm okay with it. Um, and then the other two whiskies, we're taking a trip to America, first of all. Both have got a rye theme. Very, very cool. Rye whiskey's having a moment. This is Sagamore rye. Sagamore's over in Maryland. Um, and yeah, there's so much cool creativity coming out of America when it comes to rye. So check this one out. Maybe save some and try and mix some as well. Like rye cocktails are divine. Sticking with that theme, <laughs> you'll see why in a second. The last dram, I'm so excited. I knew it was in the box, but I have not yet tasted it. I cannot wait. So this is from Storning. This is a Danish whiskey. Yeah, all whiskeys made everywhere in the world now, which is super cool. This is El Classico. It's rye whiskey from Denmark that has been finished in an ex vermouth cask or a cask that's been, you know, seasoned with vermouth. And for me, rye whiskey, vermouth, a match made in heaven, hello Manhattans. We've got this right here in the dram. I can't wait to get stuck in. So yeah, that's it. Don't forget, you know, as a poor and sit member, there are loads of benefits, loads of fun things to do, including the live tastings. Don't forget first and third Thursday every month. Join in. They've got the member store for exclusive discounts and social media. We're here all the time. Don't forget the blog, um, the PNS Digest. We're always here. We want to chat about whiskey. Get involved and see you soon.